Okay, welcome back to part two. So where I last left off is we're going to actually create the code now that inserts the value of these text boxes in to the XML file. So I've added a button, and when the user clicks this button is where we're going to write all of that code. So we're going to go to Design View, double click, and this will create our button click events. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to do dim XML file as a new XML document. And the XML document is just essentially our XML file, okay? But we've, we've dimensioned it as an XML document, but we need to actually load our XML file. Okay? And I'll have to get rid of these. Okay, now we're going to do XML file that we just created dot load, okay? And in parentheses, we're just going to pass in a path to our XML file. So here, we're going to do it absolutely. So website slash create new section with XML. And then that's going to be news.xml. Okay, so now we've actually loaded our XML file. Now we need to add to it. So what we're going to do, we're going to create our tags. So the first thing we need to do is create our news tag, our title tag, and our contents tag. So we'll do the news tag. And we're going to mention that as an XML element. That's basically just the tag. And we're going to have that equal to the document. And we're going to have it create an element. And we're going to call that element news. Okay. So we'll do the same thing for the others. In this case, we'll call it title and contents. News tag, title tag, and the contents tag. So we've created the tags now. The next step is to actually create the information that goes into the tags. So we'll do then, <coughs> excuse me, we'll do the title, the title text, and that's going to be equal to an XML text, okay? And that just represents the text content of an element or attribute, that's the tooltip says. Plot that equal to XML file, our document, dot create a text node. And, in parentheses, we need to actually put a value. Now we could use a string and just put in hard code a value. But in this case, what we want is to insert the value from the text box. So, if we go back to it, for title, we're going to put the value that the user enters into the text title text box. So in here, I'm going to put text title, and then we're going to pull the text box. Let's do the next part. This will be the same thing, except it'll be text contents. Okay, the title tag. Okay, the next section, the next step that we need to do. <coughs> excuse me. Let me see. The next step is we need to actually append the text node to our new elements. So we're going to do the title tag dot append child. And this is just going to, as the tooltip says, adds the specified node to the end of the list of child names. So the title tag dot append child, and we're just going to do the title text. Okay? So take the title text and append it to the title tag. Contents tag. In this case, we're going to append contents tag. And then the next part is we actually need to append all of the information to the news tag. Because if you see in our XML file, the title and contents are nested within the news tag. So we'll do the news tag dot append child. And here we're going to append the title tag. And then we need to do one more. So now, 
all of the information that we created is within the news tag. Now we just need to add our news, our news tag to the XML file. So we do that by getting our document, and then we're going to grab the document element. Now the document element is essentially, it's not essentially, it's completely, the, uh, the head root element. In this case, it's the news. It's the, the wrapping element. So XML file dot document element, and we're going to append child the news the news tag. Okay, and then of course the news tag contains all of the title and the contents. <coughs> so the very last step is to actually save it. We've inserted our new record. Now we need to save it. So XML file dot save. And we're going to save it to where my file is located. If you're doing this on your website, it would be obviously relative to the root of the site. Websites create section XML, and we called it news.xml. Okay, I may or may not have made a mistake, but we'll check that out. So I'm going to run this in the browser. button and this is where our code is going to occur. So let's go back and check, see if it works. Aha! So we came back to our solution and it says this file has been modified outside of the source editor. Do you want to reload it? Yes. Now let's look at what we have. Okay, look. Here are the first two that we created manually, but with this, sec this third one, we've inserted the values of the text boxes in. So pretty cool, huh? So, let's go to default.ecx, this is our news page, and it's updated. So you can see this was really easy, wasn't it? So I'm going to do just one last part, the last step, we're going to redirect the, the user back to our main page so they can see their information. So we're going to do this one more time, see the final product. At bridge. Insert in XML file. It's going to redirect us back to the news page. And it's updated. Okay? And kudos if you know what that's from. So, I hope this helped you. If you have any questions at all, just visit detachdesigns.com slash blog, and I'd be glad to help you. So have a good day, everyone.